welcome back to the messenger so I just wanted to come before you and just recap a lot of things that I've been talking about on my channel you know I started out talking about my life and then the Lord uh, had me to go into talking about connections you know and basically everything that I talk about is what I have already experienced what I've went through so I try to talk about things that I know about okay so we learned about connections wrong connections um, how we need to work on our character especially the children of God people in the church the character is you know we some of us just was not taught that your character is important you know it starts with love peace joy you know the fruits of the holy spirit a lot of us didn't start off that way we just basically start off by not sinning you know stop drinking stop smoking and didn't know that we got to learn to love people how many of you know there's people in ministry that don't like people i was once like that because you know people didn't know how to act people didn't know how to treat you it was just rude and it just made me not like people but then I, how many of you know that when you come to christ and come to god you had to learn how to love you have to learn how to forgive you have to learn how to overlook people and then you learn to cut off that's what i had to learn how to cut people off when you see that they're doing things on purpose and they just refuse to stop and treat you right sooner or later you have to let that connection go that's not the right connection and now i'm talking about working your salvation you know you have to work your salvation you can't stay the same you know when you're in a relationship and and and, and at first you were you know you you was you was not trusting people when you first got in a relationship how many of you know that you have to work on that in order to stay in a relationship in order to to keep a relation strong you got to have trust so what do you do you learn to trust that person now you're going to go through some up and downs because you're trying to learn how to trust that person but how many of you know that we don't stay the same we're forever growing in a relationship that's the same way with god we're forever growing in our relationship with god if you're staying the same there must be something you're not ready to let go you're not ready to work on or that's just really what god put in you to make you different you know so you have to know the difference um and god will most de definitely tell you um that that is you you know you you don't change that i want you like this i want you to stay like that but we're forever changing we're forever um working on ourselves because how many of you know that you know you have to work on yourself you can't stay the same it's impossible you may come in thinking okay i'm gonna keep dressing like this and there's nothing wrong i'm still covered up but you're still revealing your shape and you realize that okay god don't even want me and looking at our body shape so you sooner or later you know you start changing that way as well we're forever changing because we're always finding out what god hates we may love something and we find out god don't like that so we got to make a change we were constantly working on ourselves and then you have to spend time with god you know that's just like a regular relationship how are you going to be in a relationship and you never talk to the person you never call them you never see how they're doing you 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 never talk to them you you're always busy what happens to that relationship sooner or later it will fail it will disconnect it it, it won't grow because you never speak see the person you never speak to the person you never call the person well that's the same way with god if you're not spending time with him you're not getting to know him you're not meditating on the word day and night you're not learning about god your connection is not going to get stronger there's no way if it's not happening 
in in the natural with a regular relationship it can't happen with god so you gotta spend time with him and a lot of us don't believe god really talks to you but he does he really talks to you that's why you got to get to know him you know a lot of things that i talk about you may not have ever heard of and that's because i spent time with god i got to know him and when you get to know god and get in the secret place he starts telling you things that no one's ever heard of that's biblical so when i got close to god he would tell me things he would show me things and that's why um he had me to do this channel because i'm telling you things and showing you things that i have learned to better myself and to better my life it's nowhere near to put you down because i'm telling you things about myself that is embarrassing to me that you know i don't want to talk about i'm i'm a very private person so for me to do this channel and and i've looked at my um channel today and i saw i saw i have over 600 videos man i just cannot believe i had that much to say glory to god for a person to stay at home and just work and go home don't bother nobody you know don't say much wow i'm amazed uh just to see that you know it's really not about the likes it's really not about the numbers it's about reaching that one and as long as i reached one of you i have done my job i i i just appreciate this journey it has really helped me um and i'm going to continue to push forward so i just want to let you know that you know you have to read your word day and night too that word should uh, be a tablet on your heart so if anything happens excuse me if anything happens to where they take our bibles they don't want us reading bibles you know they banned or do anything like that it's on the tablet of your heart no one can take that from you but if you're you're not reading it you're not meditating you're not writing down scriptures and memorizing them and using them in your prayer life standing on the word of god and prayer and practicing the word of god daily if they take the bibles are you going to be able to make it are you going to have some words some word of god in you so make sure you're practicing the word of god too that's like when when we teach our children we're teaching our children to keep our keep their rooms clean and you're showing them how to make the bed are we going to keep doing this until they're 45 and 50 no we're expecting them to practice we're expecting them to make their beds we're expecting them to clean their room right that's the same thing with god he wants to see you practicing the word so if he say be slow to anger that means don't let things get to you just overlook them just let it go you know just learn how to calm, keep calm you need to practice the word daily and that's what this channel is about i just wanted to give you a rundown on what i'm about and there is more to come because i have so much more to offer to show you now this channel is not like everybody else like i've always said you can't get the blessings if you haven't made some changes you haven't spent time with god you have you don't want him to say uh go far from me i never knew you you don't want god to say that you want you say i went to church i i i, I was in the choir but did you spend time with him that's like you're you're on my channel right here all the time and you're watching me you know of me but you don't know me unless you actually spent time with me when you spend time you can say i know her same thing with god so he wants you to practice work your salvation a lot of us are not doing this we we, we just want to say we go to church we read our bible we know god i pray i do all that but then we we watch you be mean and nasty to people we watch you do things that are not christ-like and that's because you're not meditating in the word day or night you're not practicing what you're reading and you're not spending time with god a lot of us think it's silly but i'm telling you it's real and you ought to try it you're welcome
Thanks for watching. You're welcome.